All right. Oh, I gotta get the I gotta get the game for me. <coughs> Everything is up and running for you guys, but I need to I need to get the game for me so I can see what I'm doing. set that's all good to go volumes are or volumes seem to be okay I can always turn it up if it's too low because it's low on my end but that could be because of my own settings there we go yeah my headphone wasn't maxed out all right where am I what was I doing I think I was heading for one of the team star locations been a couple days on account of being sick. Yeah, I was heading over to this one. Oh, you're one of those. Everybody's tip shop shape? Yep. These aren't, uh, none of these are new. These are all. These are all old gen Pokemon. But if I do need to fight them, um, they would give me a decent amount of experience points because they're all evolved Pokemon. this? Is this supposed to be a shadow? No, it's part of the mountain? It's a graphical glitch that makes a part of the mountain sticking up? Lend me a Pokemon that can make me- that can take me across the sea. have one, but I don't think you want him. He eats your sandwiches. Artabax, I don't know how well you'll do against this. You're a nice type. We'll see. All right, that's a good start. All right, you do, you have that, so you get stronger with each fire hit. So you are good to fight against fire types. Looks like I'm sunk. If only there was a Pokemon I could ride over the sea, it could be sitting and sipping at something on a sandy beach right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to let you keep saying that because, oh dear god, everything wants me. Oh, that was a Glade! There's just a Glade hanging out here. I should have used Ice Beam. Er, Ice Fang. There we go.
You know, seeing that Gallade reminds me of my Pokemon in Arceus. In the Arceus game. I love my team in that. I love my team in Sword and Shield, too. I did the same thing in Sword and Shield, where I, like, initially just caught the new Pokemon and beat the game with it, but then afterwards changed them all out to whatever I wanted, what I actually liked to see. Uh, actually, I think he needs to remain on the top. Nope, you need to go up, because you're... Nope, it's Cerule Edge, because Cerule Edge has the lowest amount of HP. And it's Espathra. I know that Artabax, once he evolves, he's gonna... He's gonna get a lot of HP. He gonna be a healthy boy. But he's not gonna evolve for another 10 levels. Which, watch, knowing my luck, I'm gonna be at the freaking Elite Four by then. Why doesn't Pokemon, like, have anybody... Pokemon never seems to have, like, any NPC trainers that were on Red's level. Like, in Pokemon Gold and Silver, fighting against Red, he had, like, level 80 Pokemon. And he was tough. They just don't seem to, like, have that anymore. Usually it's the highest that you see when it comes to NPC Pokemon is, uh... Oof. Thank you. Is, uh, like, maybe 70. Low 70s. No, I'd rather not fall down there, because that's going to take me to the, uh... Hi, hi, Chansey. I, you're okay. I don't want to... I don't want to catch you. And I don't want to fight you. I'm just trying to make my way through this. And by through this, like... Was that... Yeah, that was the... That was where the team starbase was, right there. So had I fallen, I would have had to come all the way back up. Or just fly to this Pokemon Center. No, I just gotta keep going this way. Why did it sound like I heard just someone throw an item? Like a Pokeball, specifically. I heard that sound effect. Is there anything in this corner? There is. Pollen Puff. Ooh. I like Pollen Puff. Pollen Puff was a powerful move. When I first started using fairies and my uh, cute fly learned uh, Pollen Puff. It was, it was cute to fly, but then it evolved. What was it? Can't remember right now. You've been out east? What if Team Star's base is off to the east? 
of here. So scary. No, I am heading east. I just realized that his name is Low Kicks. As in, he gives low kicks. Well, he's faster. You can use bounce again, because I swear. Thank you. Let's use Talon Flame. Uh, let's switch to. Because I could use Cerulege. Because the fire ability of Talon Flame won't be able to affect Cerulege. And I've got that sword stance on, so I might as well keep that. I love Talon Flame. Let's go. Phantom Force. I like how Talonflame slowed down, like its animation slowed down like it knew it was done. I guess if I was strong as you, I wouldn't need to be scared, even of Team Star. Funny how you go from the weakest Pokemon to, like, almost highest in, like, one level. You've come a long way since getting out from the Academy, haven't you? What if, uh, what if I came here first? Mm hmm? thought so. I don't know why, in my mind I was thinking he was, uh... <sighs> that he was, uh, a normal type, but I got him to be... I got his special defense down, so uproar should do a lot. Wants to learn? Psychic! I mean, Psychic is a powerful move. Ninety damage. Could give it a Psybeam. I mean, it's going to be probably be the next step up from Psybeam. Psychic's more powerful than Lumina Crash. But 
Psychic may lower the target special defense stat, where Lumina Crash just does. So it's always good to use Lumina Crash, lower the special attack, then hit him with Psychic. If they survived. Out of curiosity, what does the game say? Forget Dazzling Gleam and learn Psychic? Kind of don't want to. It's a fairy move. Having that... Have, having that uh, other typing. I'll get rid of Psybeam. Galele! This Rule Edge, this is your moment to. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it, because if Cerule Edge can go first, it can get a lot of health back. Damn it. Ooh, survived! Thank you. Is it half the energy? I think it's half the energy. Yes, I can feel precisely how much experience you've gained on your travels. The user's, the user's HP is restored up high up to half the damage taken by the target. Okay, yeah. It's not 100%, it's half. Because I know Glalies are generally very healthy. They have a lot of health. Alright, we're reaching the... Uh... The, we're reaching the level 50 zone. Bamboo shoots pop, pop, popping up. <coughs> Everything wants to fight me here. Luckily there's a Pokemon Center just right over there. I see it. What are you? Are you the Oh, you must be the evolved form of that olive Pokemon. Are Bolivia? Ice Fang. Grass Oh, if what? If you get If you get hit, you cause grassy terrain? Or is that just a super effective move? Shoot, I was busy thinking about bamboo that I didn't focus on the battle. Yeah. Venomoth. Max potions? Good to have. I'm sorry, why is there Shinxes here? Out of all the Pokemon that they could have put here, why they have to put a low-level Shinx? Well, it's probably not a low-level Shinx. It's probably, like, level 50 or something, but... Oops. Uh, 
I accidentally stepped on a fungus. Man, this is a nice little habitat for Pokemon. Like, plenty of space to run around. There's grass. There's water. There's places to climb. Tiny bamboo shoot. And I know I saw some uh, Dratini in the water. I heard something, but I don't know where it is. Ignore this trainer. Um, hold on. I want to sort this whole thing. This is, if anything, it's annoying me. There we go. Gosh, I feel like a buffoon. I thought the thing I saw was just a mushroom, but it was alive! Allie, the student. Poison jab. Gotcha. That means we can't get to sleep. But now that you're poisoned... They really are fungus among us. The mushroom Pokemon fungus is poisonous too, so be careful around it. These falls, yeah, I'm gonna go check them out. They're probably one of the, you know, greatest one, one of the ten sites of Paldea, Fury Falls. Oh, hi, Scyther. Did you come to give us a hug? Because that's what it looked like you did.
Mmm, yummy. Ow! That was not very effective, ouchie! Oh, swear to God, if you know, like, quick attack. I'm gonna need that Pokemon Center soon. Like, very soon. These faults are said to be quite famous. I'll help cook. Just one minute. Need to set an alarm. To tell me when to stop streaming. There we go. Just in case I lose track of time. These faults are said to be quite famous. I'll help commemorate your visit with a fine battle. Blanca the artist. Being at half health, uh, I need that sword stance. I need that sword stance. Yeah, that didn't help. Forgot. For some reason, in my mind, I was like, poison, just poison. Palmot, you haven't done any fighting, go into it. Revival Blessing. We'll get Cerule Edge back up. Oh, how nice of you. That heals Pokemon on the ground. Are you technically on the ground? Because your your animation shows floating, but are you technically on the ground? And you just changed the terrain. Not very effective. 
And I don't care about special attack, but I'm getting that health back. Hmm, there we go. I got so worked up the, the the sweat of pouring down my back like a cascade. Gross. Big bamboo shoot. I don't know what these sh bamboo shoots do, but I've got some. You're not going to get up, are you? This slacking is just going to sit here, right? Even if he sees me? You're going to be too lazy to come at me? Yep. That is exactly what you're doing. Ooh, I gotta look into that. I think that's a special attack, though. <sighs> that might not be as good for Cerule Edge. Cerule Edge, mostly physical. This Pokemon Center is just surrounded. These people, they can't get out. Oh, I got too close to the... the Team Star place. I need to get my, my chat that I want back up. Shion. Operation Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. But I'm curious, Xion. What do you think of Cassiopeia? Um... Uh, I don't know, like... I feel like Cassiopeia is the this the big boss. That's what I'm that's what I'm seeing right now. That's where I'm thinking the game is leading. Cassiopeia is the big boss of Team Star. Um But it almost seems like they want to take down Team Star because I like I just feel it's one of those situations of they built Team Star to deal to deal with bullies, but by becoming Team Star, they ended up becoming the bullies themselves. So I don't know. I feel like the big boss had saw this and was like, "Okay, I gotta shut this down," but I can't do it myself. They're a bag of riddles. Is that so? Personally, I don't think Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment towards Team Star. No, there must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall. What but what what could it be? Well, I'd best get back to keeping watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base, okay? Yeah, I wasn't going for the base. I was going for an item and you interrupted me. I'm prison. Jesus, that was far away. I was going for this item. Oh, 
Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Help us. We're surrounded. So do you guys, like, sleep here? Because this Pokemon Center is smack dab in the middle of nowhere. Same as the other one. Like, there's no city for miles. So... Is there, like, a... You know, a secret entrance that you guys can go down into, like, some sort of... These guys just don't sleep. I'm pretty sure they're not even human. Like, this is this is your tip-off. Like, no, they're all machines. Alright, so this Team Star base is... Oof. This is just a big old loop. Kudos to those people who have the patience to, like, level up and evolve Dratini. I've tried it once. And, like, at the end, I was just like, well, I've beaten all the gym leaders. And the only thing I have left to do is beat this one huge tough trainer. And my, my Dragonair has yet to evolve. And it's like, okay, so the only thing I'll be doing is evolving Dragonair into Dragonite just to beat this trainer. I'm like, nah, no thanks. You youngins call that flashy sport pro wrestling, right? Is it a popular among your set these days? Don't ask me. I don't really know anything about wrestling. Oh, ghost fight. Let's go. Touche! Hey, <laughs> you're already dead. Okay, Phantom Force was disabled. Bronzong. Keep current Pokemon, because I don't need to use Phantom Force for this one. Ooh. Getting defensible, are ya? Well, it did the trick. Not very effective. Thanks for the health! <laughs> Seems you are pro at Pokemon battles. I saw a student up ahead who was all donned up in the most outrageous pro wrestling outfit. It was absolutely splendid. I wonder if she would let me join her in her shenanigans. 
this Scyther isn't gonna... He's not gonna move. <coughs> he saw the fight, and he's like, I gotta get in on, in on that action. So, uh, Sword Stance? Not very effective. I figured we'd have a Sword Stance together. fully healed and then go take on the Team Star mem base. that Pokemon got rid of the regular, you know, day-night cycle. Like... Because before, it was like, oh, if it's nighttime in your area, then it's nighttime in the game, and stuff like that. But they seem to have gotten rid of that. Oh, right. I gotta choose three. I gotta choose three different... <coughs> <coughs> I gotta choose three Pokemon that'll be good. And this is gonna be fighting? You're pretty skilled. Not many trainers could shrug off my Pokemon's attacks like that. The same to you, Aerie, was it? Your Pokemon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves. But I'm surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gates. Don't you trust your grunts enough to put them on guard duty? Watch your mouth. I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all. What a benevolent boss. Now, if you want to side, you want to get on with our battle, I'm all ready to on my side. Who are you? Shion, there you are. I started talking to this girl since she looked like she was with Team Star. Then she and her Pokemon came at me without warning. We were just battling it out. Riri, I knew you'd be out here. Carmen. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, honestly. Now, get away from here. It's not safe. I'll take over guarding the base, Riri. You should get back inside. No, I won't back down. I can't. Oh, Riri, you need to stop this. Until the big boss comes back, I have to protect all of you and the Cap Squad. And everyone else in Team Star 2. That's why you should get back to base and rest up, even just for a little bit. As the boss of the squad, I, I just can't. Riri, please, I'm your friend. Listen to what I'm saying. Fine, I'll go. I'm sorry, Carmen. Hey, that's no way to sign off. Let me hear a hasta la, la vista from you, nice and loud. Oh, she was really into it. Hasta la vista! I'm your opponent now, you two. Come on, I'll take you both down. Hey, Shion, my Pokemon are actually... and I are actually running on empty after that last battle. Sorry to spring this on you, but do you think you can handle this grunt alone? Yep. Thanks, I'm cheering you from the sidelines. I'll protect Riri with everything I have. You ready to battle? I'm so ready. Then here I come. Ooh, 
plotting something. Too bad you won't get a chance to do it. About to send in Primate. You know, it's not good for Artabax to be out here because Artabax will get really hurt by fighting types. So... Let's go, Aspathra. Lumina Crash! Ooh, nice! You managed to hang on! Lost, but my defeat's not the one that matters. Even if all I did was buy Riri a bit of time, that's fine. My job here is done, so I'll head back inside. Hasta la vista! I take it you defeated the guard up front. That base is run by Team Star's fighting crew, the Calf Squad. Their boss, Eri, is a skilled wrestler and coaches the whole, t whole team in Pokemon battling. Whole of Team Star in Pokemon battling. Of all the bosses, she'll likely be the most alert to host hostilities after a declaration of war. She might try to stop this raid in its tracks by challenging you to battle before anyone else. Yeah, we already met. I knew it. Tell me what happened. I just smile, just, hey, it's like she retreated? We're talking about the same Aerie, right? Well, it seems there's nothing for it now but to attack the base head-on. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the calf squad off the map. Yeah, hold on. I think my Pokemon get healed going in, but I'm not... I don't want to take that chance. Because I know they get healed after the first phase of this. Cerule Edge first, because they're fighting types, so we'll do Cerule Edge first. Then Espathra is going to be, like, my main dude. Palmot, can you do anything? Because you're also fighting. I might send Palma out because uh, I get the feeling, based on that one battle, that they're going to have a lot of Crow Gunks and Toxicroaks. So Palma's dig ability or dig move will help with that. Yeah. 
No, I can't send Meos Curata, because Meos Curata is a dark type. That, no, that would be suicide. And Graphia is a normal type, so that would be suicide. All right, yeah, this is this is my only choice. <laughs> Artabax is an is a ice type. All weak to fighting. I didn't realize I had such a weakness to fighting. But I also have half a team that can actually deal with fighting. All right, we'll do this. Yeah, Cerule Edge is good because Cerule Edge is a ghost type and fighting moves can't affect it. The Spathor is just super effective against them and Palmont can potentially dig to death. Dig them a grave. Beeps. Code Red, Code Red, Operation Starfall Alert! Everyone, get into position and defend the boss with all you've got. And rest assured, Intruder, we'll deal with you without the boss's help. Unless you manage to beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, that is. Good luck with that. Oh, look. You're dead. Please go after it. Palmont. I don't know why Palmont's not working sometimes. Yep, knew it. There was going to be some Toxicroaks. Already took care of uh, ten of them. You're gonna go after Tox Croak. You go after him, and you go deal with them. Yeah, Palmot's the one that's taking the damage. I guess whatever moves they have don't really... High? Oh, well, Palmont actually took care of a uh, primate. Finish! I don't think we can hold her off much longer, boss! Boss of Team Star's fighting crew, Eri. Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't matter who you are, I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time, I won't run away. Rah!
Area of Team Star. Ah, she throws it in the bowl. Alright, the only thing you can do is your poison moves. This base is precious to us. I won't let this raid of yours go any further. Nope, because I'm not using an attack. Nope, because I'm not using an attack. Is that all you can use, a Sucker Punch? Because if that's all you can use... Um, I'm just going to Swords Dance. Sucker Punch has like 5 BP. There, you should be out of Sucker Punches now. <coughs> keyword, <coughs> keyword being should. Not very effective. I give as good as I get. That's a promise. We'll see who's left standing at the end. Schling! About to send in Lucario. Nope, keep it up. Taking your health, thank you. A simian? Nah, I'll... I didn't fight you before, have I? No. She'll be like, I'll keep it. Yeah, this battle was, was your your fate was sealed the moment you sent out Toxicroak first and could only use Sucker Punch. Ooh, I knew you'd have an Annihilate. I want to see it. Oh my God, the fuck. Ho oh. ho ho. That's one pissed off motherfucker. Well, Cerule Edge managed to get fully healed from um, the last two Pokemon. Phantom Force. He should be faster. Yeah, he's faster, isn't he? Yep, he's faster. That was super effective. Yeah, Phantom Force, get out of there. Wait, you're a ghost type? It was a fighting ghost? I, I refuse to lose, so please lend me your strength. You're still a steel type, aren't you? No, you're just fighting. Um, I want to steal your HP. Speed rose sharply. Attack rose. Thank you. 
Ah. Yep. Yep, your, your, your fate was definitely sealed the moment you used Toxicroak first. And it could only use... Sh Sucker Punch. You're shifting gears again? But that means I'm just gonna kill you! I just swept you! So sorry, everyone. About a year and a half ago. No, I'm so sorry. I think I went a little too far. Nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones who asked you to put us through some tough battle practice so we could train up. Yeah, but... Truly, you need not apologize, my lady. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift strides towards mastering the art of battle. And I could never have evolved my Pokemon without you, Eri. And the big boss says it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See? Nothing but gratitude. To us, you're the brightest star in the whole team. <laughs> Come on, quit being silly. <coughs> um, just one thing. We've been training for four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. Uh, I'm sorry. You all should take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up. My lady, we four have each trained in our turn, but you, our steadfast mentor, have rested not once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. Thank you for your concern, Atticus, but lately I feel like I could take anything, even if I'm really tired and feel like, or feel like crying. Remember that time we all got together and riffed on the gym badge design to create our very own star badges? Well, I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Like, I want to give it my all. I gave my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You showed amazing strength. Even if the code did, didn't require me to give it to you, I want you to have this. I'd want you to have this. We arm wrestling? Because you would totally win. I'd like to see you try out my trademark move, too. Here, this one's for you. Close combat. You never got a chance to use it because I swept you with a ghost type. I know you're part of Operation Starfall, but I can tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look, a look away for a moment. This is a bit much to take for me to take. I just really... Well, I didn't look away. Looks like it's all over. Oh, Riri. This is the Team Star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. So what did you want to ask me? You seem to be much on, on much friendlier terms with Eri compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that. Well, all right. I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty, too. It took her no time at all to become popular at the Academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess, you started to pick on her. Pretty much. I got our classmates to join in, too. We were all so stupid. But in the end, kids are always fickle, and once one thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it, but then Riri, she chose to help me even though I'd been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side, and she invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that, what a kind girl. She really is. And joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun? There are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Ah, no, I merely... 
Riri and the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. Please, don't take away our greatest treasure. <sighs> Shion, it's me. I take it that Eerie handed over her star badge to you then. I see. Without its boss, the Calf Squad should be a hair's breadth from disbanding. Even Eerie. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success thanks to you, Shion. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. <coughs> Even though I haven't uh, asked for his help since the first, you know, base, but... Eh. I remember him saying that your acquaintances have you <coughs> known each other <coughs> long? <coughs> Jesus. No, not all that long. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Back in what day? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star, though you could hardly count call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from the battle the first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after another, and Team Star ended up the villains of the story. That's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. You earn 10,000 LP. You can now make more kinds of TMs. Make good use of those TMs. They should help you take down the last remaining boss. My supply unit rep will be along soon to give you your bonus reward. Um, here I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? No, it's the Eevee backpack. It's got to be the Eevee backpack. He likes the Eevee backpack. Attacked again. Wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the, the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're also messed up. If even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied... They'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess but I guess the big boss was the one who urged everyone to face their bullies despite knowing how messed up the Academy is. What a massive idiot creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. You really think so? I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. The next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Shion. We don't even get experience points for those fights. Okay. Yeah, my Pokedex has been updated because I saw the evolved form of Primeape. Which I want to see if I'm right about that one. It's not going to tell me. Oh no, it is. Yep, it is a fighting ghost type.
Oh boy. Hey, huh. Nah, it's just it's just funny that I was able to like sweep that. All because of Cerule Edge. All because Cerule Edge one was able to get maxed attack stat. All because freaking Toxicroak just wanted to use Sucker Punch. But it don't work, so I just let it use Sucker Punch until it ran into Sucker Punches. And it only had one other move, which I don't know why it didn't use that other move at any other point. I think it's because Sucker Punch would have been super effective, and that's why it wanted to use it. And then with uh, Max Attack Stat, I was just able to use Bitter Blade the whole time, and any damage that Cerulege took, it healed. So yeah, that was cool. Uh, now... Where do I want to go next? I've got two more gym leaders to take care of. Uh, one more Titan and one more... Team Star Boss. I should go for the other gym leader. Which would be this one over here. But I don't know how well that will do. Because I'm pretty sure Dragon Gym Leader has to be the last one. I could take on the Titan now. Or try to. Because I'm pretty sure the Pokemon around there are level 50. I think what I'll do is we'll go to <coughs> yeah I'll need to head here what's my way to get over there how do normal people get over there Oh, there's a cave. There is a cave. From Cascafera. At least I'm thinking this cave gets me to Alfernada. Time to find out! <laughs> Didn't I already take care of you? Way do I go? South? Yeah, south. Gotta go this way.
Okay, yeah, already took care of you too. I didn't take care of you though. You're probably gonna be super easy though. Got a ditto. Oh, yeah. 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 No. This is easy. Minky fur. The area up ahead is dangerous. The Pokemon are super strong. That's where I'm going. Almost. It was you I should have been scared of. But the question is, does this take me to where I want to go? To Elfernada, you won't make it on foot. So basically, it's saying that I will need. Uh, me right on. So I wouldn't have even been able to make this. That's scary. There's there's a bunch of water up behind that wall. But no, I wouldn't have even been able to make this unless I got a few of the Titans. Like, this area would have been closed off from me. Didn't think I was going to make that.
There's some trainers in here. Oof. Did I see you riding on a Pokemon? I am riding on a Pokemon currently, right now. I didn't know there were Pokemon that could climb these steep slopes with a rider. Got a shell gone. Okay, how powerful are you? Oh, 40? Was I supposed to come here sooner? There's the level up everyone was looking for. Artifacts wants to learn Crunch. Yes! We can get rid of Bite, because Crunch is more powerful. It wants to learn Gunk Shot. <coughs> <coughs> User shoots filthy garbage at the target to attack. This may also poison the target. I might get rid of Venom Shock for it because the accuracy is 80 and it's it's a powerful move. But if it misses, now nah, we'll we'll keep. Even if you send it in Sligu, we'll, we'll keep mine. You got all these dragons. Nope, nope, we're doing good. Keep, keep it up. Bring out the Haxorus. Oh, you get to go first. I thought I'd train pretty hard. Yeah, don't worry. One forty, one fifty-seven, one fifty-nine. Yep. And we'll put you up. I'm actually going to start. Got to use up these potions. I know they take a while to heal someone, but whoop. it saves on my super potions and all that. I got twelve max potions. That means I could heal, I could fully heal my team twice. Whew, just a little more. I swore to myself that I'd make my own way to town without riding on a Pokemon. Dude, you're positively glowing! Okay. Poison jab. Am 
My legs are about to give out, and I'm about to give up! Well, dude, you can do it. Just give yourself a rest. Don't push yourself. Max Potion. Overheat. Is there anything else up here? <coughs> oh boy. Come on. Oh wait, but there was a dude over here. Is this the correct way? Oh, I see. This was... The... It was just an easier way up. Gotta remember Pokemon types. Pokemon types are so complicated, don't you think? Well, they're not complicated once you know the gist of it. But when they introduce new types, then you're just like, oh, uh... Not very effective, which is why I used Uproar. Gardevoir. Used a wish, but that wish ain't coming true. Not complicated for you, huh? Even though I didn't use any of the tight matchups, I just fought you normally. There is. There you are. So much work. Oh, God. Really? It's so much work to get to town from here. The poor courier. He still has to deliver things. Oh, but you got a Mudsdale. Dude, what are you complaining about? You got a Mudsdale. I mean, yes, it's level 39? But... I bet I would have won if I wasn't so tired. Is that why your uh, team was, like, your Pokemon's level was so low? Because you were tired? 
I mean, that's an interesting way to do it. How does today's weather look? I'll tell you why I'm so worried about the weather. Oh, you're gonna do a sandstorm! Oh! Are they getting weaker? Because I'm pretty sure I fought the, the Dragon Tamer and they had like level 45. Or they were close to like level. They were closer to the level 50. And yet here we are dealing with level 44s. I feel like I should have came here sooner. Lycanroc. Uh... You know what? Meows, Meows Karada has not had a chance to come out and play yet. Or hasn't had many chances to come out and play. I don't even need to do a flower trick on you. Even though I should have. Sandstorms are weather too, you know. I swear they are. The truly frightening thing about a sandstorm is it not it is not the damage it deals. It's the fact that rock type Pokemon get a special defense boost and become even hardier. Really? I didn't know that was a thing with sandstorm. I thought it was uh like Pokemon get damaged and you barely like I think I thought accuracy also went down, but maybe not. It would have made sense if accuracy went down. Behold these muscles! I built up these muscles by many trips to the gym. My brilliant brawn will surely lead me to victory. You're the... I think you're going to be the true test to see how easy or how hard this gym is going to be. Maybe not. My mass of musculature missile misled me. Yeah, I think I needed to come here sooner. This is a nice place, though. Man. 
Do do do. How come I'm just able to know there's an item? Ah, that takes me out of town. Okay. There's a lot of times where I look at a spot and I'm like, there's an item over there. And I just know. Like clay. I think it's because it's not just uh, my, you know, uh, like my many years of playing Pokemon. It's most likely also my many years of playing RPGs. You do not know the amount of times I've played an RPG and I go into a corner and there's no item and I'm like, there's the perfect place for an item here. So is this supposed to be a big desert? Because that's what the music is suggesting. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. Oh, those are all the icons from the original Pokemon. Oh. You can't even tell what those Pokemon are. But I immediately think of like, you know... Uh, the first one to the left, I immediately think of Om Omanyte. Um, and then I think of Pidgey, then Rattata, then Ekans, then uh, an Oddish. And uh, the next one there is like, well, that one represented a lot. Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, I really love this. This is a trip down memory lane. Cause this these were the icons that they used to represent which Pokemon you had before they started actually putting different sprites of the Pokemon. If I'm not mistaken, that wasn't until, uh, like, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald that they actually started showing the Pokemon in the, uh, in your party. Red, blue, yellow, and gold, even show these little symbols. <coughs> Actually, this is mostly red and blue. I think gold had different ones. But I love it. What I love about this is that, like, hardcore Pokemon fans that have been playing since the very beginning would recognize these. Would recognize these. Anyone else who started with, like, with Ruby and Sapphire and beyond wouldn't know these. Unless they, or, like, went back and played the original red, blue, and yellow. Here's a fun fact. 
Let me see if I can get it. Oh, perfect. This right here, <coughs> in red and blue, it looks like a Clefairy. You'd think that this is Clefairy. And yes, Clefairy did have this sprite when in your party. But Pikachu also had this sprite when it was in your party. That changed in Pokemon Yellow when they gave Pikachu its own sprite. And it no longer had this sprite anymore. Like, Pikachu got a, its legitimate own sprite in yellow. Whereas everyone else was still the same. Malcorn here was originally built as an observatory to view the stars. Man, I, I love that. I really love that. Substitute. Sorry for the sniffles. Alright, time to deal with this gym leader, because I only got like an hour left. Less than an hour. I got like 50 minutes. Okay, yeah, there's nothing here. Funny, there was no cutscene for coming up to the gym. Hmm. Hey, I heard the good news. Congrats on gym badge number six. Not even a tenth of the trainers who take on the gyms get this far, you know. But I'm not surprised that you made it. <coughs> <coughs> I just knew there was a reason you caught my eye. Thanks. Oh, please, I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, I bet you could use a little warming up for taking on the gym, huh? Come on, you know the drill by now. Where are we fighting? Just outside the... Are we fighting in the, the actual arena, or are we fighting just in that patch outside? Okay, we're fighting the gym arena. ta 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 -chan. Here's our battle court for the day. Okay, right. Mm-hmm. Always important to check what environment your Pokémon will be battling in. The battlefield can have these teeny effects on your Pokémon balance and stuff, you know. Anyway, sorry I sort of dragged you here, but a little pre-gym warming up should do you good. Now come on, Shion, let's have a fruitful battle. Hey, Clef! How you doing? All right, what do you got? Lichen Rock, okay. Show me the battle skills that got you six badges. You're level 42. Get wrecked. Damn it, your sand attack worked. Oh, you know, Crunch. Alright. Now get wrecked. About to use Sligu. I will switch to Artifax. Art folders and memorabilia. I mean, that's what art does. <coughs> <coughs> art.
art just gives you so much emotions. That stung, but you're not the only one who can hit hard when it counts. Yeah, but your Sligu is not going to. Neoscarada wants to learn the move knockoff. Yeah. I kind of like foul play better. I was about to send in Palmot. Yeah, I got a thing for it. I got Palmot. My Palmot's better than your Palmot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've had... <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> I've had that a lot. Where it's like, don't open until B-Day or Christmas. It sounds like it was a very good present, though. Oh, we're doing... We're doing Quaquel... All right, Meowscarada. Let's go. Starter fight. Fully evolved starter fight. It was just written as if she was going to pass away soon. Oh, yeah, that would that would mess with someone's brain. But not necessarily, because, like, they know they're going to pass away at some point. It doesn't have to be soon. Everyone dies. As they say, death is inevitable. Unless you're secretly immortal. Yeah, no, I prefer not to think about that either. I just enjoy life as I can. <coughs> like, for me, if I was to... If something were to happen and I was to die, like, tomorrow, I'd be like, you know what? I fully accept it. Like, I don't, I'm not planning on it. I don't want to die. But if it were to happen, I'd be like, you know what? I'm, I lived a good life. I'm good. But, of course, if I keep going and I live, then I'm like, well, I can live more life. Yay! I can have more good times. No, no, I, I don't plan on going anywhere for many, 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 many years. At least 70 more years. 60 more years, okay, fine. I don't think I'll make it to 100. But you never know. Maybe I can. All right, it's time for this uh, Quack Qual evolved to die because Flower Trick is OP. Look how OP Flower Trick is. The user throws a, a rigid bouquet of flowers at the target. This attack never misses and always lands a critical hit with a power of seventy. And I'm gonna tear us the ice. Here comes the fun part. Time to take this Terra Orb, make this Terra Orb shine. No, you're you're dead. There, there's you're not even going to make it shine.
Bam! Super effective, critical hit. That, that's the thrill of battle. You never know what's going to happen next. No, I saw that coming a mile away. Goodbye, fancy duck. I knew I was right to believe in you. That's an L for me. Man, you've gotten so good. I think that should be enough of a warm-up. You and your Pokemon should be all set now. Here, take these as thanks for the battle. Three max potions? Hell yeah! There's just two gyms remaining. Then uh, all that'll be left is to try to be the champion. Give it all you've got. Now, let's get you back to the gym lobby. Did you heal my Pokemon? You did. Okay. Cool. Alright, so this is the Psychic Gym. I could use Meows Meows Karata. Meows Karata could help here. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Check this out. Like this this is the Ecoliseum that we were fighting on. And look at what it has all over it. Like, this is a blast from the past. I absolutely love this. Menu sprites. Yeah. Menu sprites from red and blue. From the original Pokemon. And they also did appear in yellow too, but... Got a few Pearl, Pearl or B decorations of those. Ah, oh, I want some of those. I'd hang them up on my wall. Because it's it surprised me when I seen these. Because only those who played red and blue and yellow will know these sprites. Because after... Because I think after gold and silver, they, uh, they stopped using these sprites and actually started putting the Pokemon in your team. Like what Pokemon you had, it actually had their own sprites. Actually, I think Gold also used that. I'm... Yeah, I think Gold used it too, because I believe... I remember one of my Hoot Hoots having that sprite. Good old Hecton. No, I absolutely love that. That's probably my favorite building in this entire game. All right, um, Cerule Edge is out for once. Finally, I can't use Cerule Edge, because that's going to murder him, being, you know, a ghost type. Well, maybe it will. Yeah. No, maybe he'll help. But I knew Meow's Karata will. Because psychic types aren't, like, do nothing to... So, I'll go Cerulege first. We'll do Espathra. Actually, you know what? No, Espathra first, Cerulege second, and then Meow's Karata third. Palmot can't do anything for this one because it's a fighting type. It will get wrecked. Artip uh, neither can Graphi Eye. Graphi Eye is a, a poison type, so it will get wrecked as well. By the way, I have to laugh how Graphi Eye is like the new. Um, it's the new painter Pokemon. Like instead of painting like works of art, it, it paints graffiti, which can is actually now works of art. All right. Let's go. Welcome to the uh, Alfernada Gym. 
Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Sheon, yes? Yep, yep. Modern Smeagol. Yeah, pretty much. Great. Now in order to face the gym leader, Tulip, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at Alfordo Gym, that means working up a sweat with a special kind of exercise. What? I'm talking about the emotional spectrum practice. ESP. For Psychic. Created by Tulip herself, of course. Complete it and you pass the test. The woman wearing up the black track suit in the practice area will explain the rules to you. Just turn left after leaving the gym and you'll find the practice area right next door. Now get out there and have fun. Oh, the woman in the black tracksuit. Uh-huh. Go figure. I should I should have clued it clued into that. <coughs> There's only one person. Hi again. Oh, so welcome, new kid. This is where we do the emotional spectrum pack practice. Good old Dendra. Why is your battle studies teacher here at the Pokemon Gym working as an instructor, you ask? Well, I've been friends with the gym leader here, Tulip, since we were kids. We've decided to have a Pokemon battle with a special rule. The loser has to do what the winner says. So we battled and, well, you lost. Look, never mind what happened. Point is, this is a chance to, to both get a workout in and help my friend when I don't have classes. The rules of the, em the Emotional Spectrum Practice, or ESP for short, are simple. I'll show you a certain movement, and all you have to do is copy it. Ready to get this gym test started? I hope your body and mind are ready for the challenge. Sure. Great. Let's go. Let's go to get to exercising. Show me an em eruption of emotion. Okay. Show me a surprise, be astonished. Oh, okay. Angry. Super happy, surprised. Hmm. Overflow with excitement? That's excitement? I figured excitement would be the other one. That was awesome. I can't stop grinning after witnessing such perfect power of expression. That's enough of a warm up. Now let's really put those muscles to work with a Pokemon battle. Oh, not battling her, just battling this kid. <coughs> Dazzling Gleam? Well, it doesn't matter, you're dead. I just need to do another Dazzling Gleam and you're gone. About to send in Curlia. Uh... Let's send in Cerule Edge, just to get Cerule Edge leveled up too. Ah, 
Oh, it traced flash fire. Oh, son of a bitch. Shadow Claw. Why are you glowing? I'm moved by how well you moved, both you and your Pokemon. Great, I can hear you, your Pokemon and your muscles screaming with delight. I see you're getting tired, but you've got to hang in there. Time to start the second half. I'm not tired at all. I can keep going. Oh, they give you so many times to... So they give you so much time to screw up. This is easy. Another battle? That was perfect. Almost lost track of who was teaching who. Don't give up yet. It's time for another battle. Hold out against all the lactic, lactic acid. My goal is to grow strong and build muscles. Any tips? Yeah, retire. There's only so much that the, the human body can do. Level 43? Really? I should have definitely come here much sooner. I'm using uproar. You can't rest. Ha 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 ha. Cham. We'll switch. And poof, I'm gone. Special defense rose sharply. Ooh. Too bad I'm using a physical attack. And now it's raining! You're a fairy type as well. But now it's raining, though. No. Ah, still one shot, yeah. Nothing grows faster than a growing kid like you.
Good job. You made it all the way through the ESP exercise. You passed this test, no doubt about it. Congratulations. But you're not done yet. Sprint over to the lobby staff or on the double. You have to report your passing grade to formally finish the gym test. I did it. I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center first, though. <coughs> <coughs> Ugh, still not 100%. Let's take that. Let's take me down a gym leader. This will be my seventh batch. So you completed the ESP exp exercise, Xion. Congratulations, you passed the gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. You ready to challenge the gym leader Tulip, the bewitching beautician? Yep. Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. I already know where the battle court is, though. I suppose you're right. Okay, I'll get things moving here on my end. Let's keep the tagline simple. Naturally beautiful. And in, and order the new eyeshadow color too, would you? She is very, very busy. Thanks, you're a doll. Gotta run now. Chat with you later. Sorry, what is causing everything to fl flutter? Hello there. I'm Tulip, the gym leader here. Though I must tell you that being a makeup artist is my main line of work. Dendra had nothing but praise for you. She said you totally slayed out there. <laughs> I must say, you were a cute challenger, Xion. I'm sure my ESP ex exercise made you all the more beautiful. Doesn't that make you happy? You keep your Pokemon beautiful and clean as well. I see you have quite the aesthetic sense. Appearance is equally important for both po people and Pokemon. Makeup is like magic. Anyone can use it to change their appearance. Allow me to put my skills to use and make your cute little Pokemon even more beautiful. Alright, let's go. You're not even going to use the... Oh, hi, Farafarig! You're quite a quite a good base to test my makeup magic on. I shall use on what should I use on you? Or er, I guess Farajaraf. Yeah, apparently Giraffery can evolve now. All right, let's start with a dazzling gleam. Ah, oh, crunch! Ow! Have I seen who else can evolve? Dunsparce into the Dunsparce. One of the gym leaders has it. Yeah, Larry, the gym leader, has a Dunsparce. That's where I first seen it. It's just the longer Dunsparce. That's what I said! I posted... I've been posting all of these streams on YouTube. It's there somewhere. My, my reaction to Dunsparce. But I was just like... 
That is that is stupid. It's just the longer Dunsparce. It's just like they took do two Dunsparces and and I think I think it has it can have other sections. So it can, like the one I fought had two sections to it, but I think it can have like three. Yeah. Yeah, apparently there's different forms for it. Also, do you also know who can evolve? Primeape! Primeape is able to evolve now. Okay, that did not really work. Yeah, Primeape is able to evolve now, and it evolves into Annihilate, which is a... It's a uh, fighting ghost type. Yay! It's about to send an Espathra. Good job, Espathra, but you can't deal with an Espathra. <coughs> I know that Espathra is just pure psychic, so through ledge. I just can't use my fire typing against it because it's raining. What a bad time to use, uh, what bad weather for. A gym battle. Phantom Force. Let's get out of here. Poof. Ah, you were going for the Shadow Ball effect. Huh. Too bad. Is about to send out Gardevoir. Nah, I should. Oh wait, no, that was a bad move. Gardevoir's a fairy type. Oh wait, no, this. Never mind. Phantom Force. Oof. <coughs> Reflect War Off. Oh, you are totally dead. Florgus. I mean, Cerulege is doing good. I don't know if you've noticed, but Cerulege is my evolved form of my little Char Cadet, my little fire child. I had to do some grinding in order to get the stuff necessary to evolve him. But once I did, I was like, holy shit, he's cool. And he's a fire ghost. And he knows Bitter Blade, which allows him to suck HP. For a Florgus. It's raining. Yeah. Nah, I'll keep Cerule Edge out. You're just as hard to get rid of as a caked on mascara. I see. I need a, a good makeup remover. Oh, you're just gonna be a Oh, that's your last Pokemon. Okay, this was it's good to keep Cerule Edge then. <laughs> Cause you uh you're just going to be primarily psychic. So, something like Phantom Force should do be super effective and not just normal damage. Come here, my little Florigus. It's time for your makeover. You'll become a new you.
yep, we're just gonna poof. My bewitching beauty methods will cleanse you right down to the depths of your pores. Super effective dead. Didn't even need to use Mouse Karata. Your strength has a magic that cannot be washed away. She was easier than I thought she was going to be. I lost the battle and your beauty rivals even my own? I can't believe it. You are quite splendid. Yes, truly amazing. Perhaps I should take you under my wing before you make your big break elsewhere. But I suppose I need to work on myself a little bef more bef first before I run off and do such a thing. You have earned my gym badge. Allow me to strike one of my best poses to give it to you. Congratulations, Xion. Oh, so Metacham. Metacham pose. Guess Xion got no balance. With seven gym badges, Pokemon up to level 55 will be easier to catch and will listen to commands you give them. If you train hard, you'll be able to use this move in a totally perfect way. Psychic. Okay, I already have that. That was just... I found that out in the wild. Don't go uploading that selfie we just took to social media, okay? No, I'm going to sell it. I think my makeup has run a little with all the moving and sweating I did during our battle. I need to fix it fast before my next appointment. My schedule is absolutely packed, you know. Farewell, then. You did splendidly today. Hey, who's the child? Hey, hey, Rika here at your service. These gyms really aren't going to give you much trouble, are they? Rika, Rika! Huh? Oh, right, you two haven't met, have you? This young lady is Xion. She's so good with Pokemon, even La Primera has taken an interest in her. Oh, wow, oh, wow! But, but I think the Pokemon on Team Poppy are really strong, too! Like, really strong! Which one of you is stronger, do you think? Well, um... I'm one of the Elite Four. I knew it. In my mind, I was like, you're an Elite Four, aren't you? I'm one of the Elite Four, so I'm more amazing. <laughs> now, aren't you just adorable? Yeah, we, 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 just, we, just, we just let them on the team just to make them think they're an Elite Four. They're not really an Elite Four. Not part of us! I know it's hard to believe, but this tiny little one is indeed one of the Elite Four. Yeah, I am. I hope I get to show you my Pokemon soon, miss. So hurry up and come to the Pokemon League. It's where the, um, pinnacle. It's where the pinnacle of Pokemon battle battling happens. See you there. Hey, wait up. Well, you keep up the good work. You heard the kid. She's waiting for you. Wait up, Poppy. Don't leave your pal Rika behind. Okay, the Elite Four are of a really interesting bunch. <coughs> Try to rearrange what I got here. Cerulech didn't even take any damage from that. Damn, dude. So there we go. That's, uh... That's the seventh gym badge. So I got... I need one more. And then... I can challenge the Pokemon League.
Ugh. So if I open up the map... Oh, cool, that... Alright, so that one's done. So, I've got... Yeah, there's just three more in total. Three more spots that I gotta deal with in total, and they're all to the north. Maybe the Titan is what I need right now? I can go to the Titan? If I start with the Titan... It's a dragon type. I do have, uh... I am prepared for that. I do have a dragon type in my party, and when it terrestrializes, it terrestrializes into an ice type. So, it doesn't get hit with super effective dragon moves, but it can murder dragons. <coughs> Unless, of course, the dra the, this dragon has fire type. She's also going to be using dragon types. And what did you use again? Use fairy. Okay, you're the you're the fairy cruise base. Said to be the second strongest of the team star bosses. See, I read that like second strongest of the Team Star bosses as. Uh... Wait. Second strongest of the Team Star bosses? So, is that including the big boss? Because if that's the case, he'll be easier than the fight, the fighting Team Star member that I just took down. <coughs> I should have gone for him first. They're like in a perfect triangle. Oh no, you're not good go you're not dragon types, you're ghost types. Ugh. That's scary. I mean I have a ghost type in my party. And I have a dark type in my party, so I could win. I I, I could. But Cerule Edge will also be like, would also take a hit from it. And I don't know what this Pokemon is. A highly dangerous Pokemon said to lurk in Cassiro Lake, luring other creatures close and then feeding on them. Appearance unknown, but mouth likely large. Use extreme caution. But I know that the Pokemon around Cassiro or Casaroya Lake is level 50. So I get the feeling he's going to be in like the 60s. Which, to my opinion, is meh. Alright. I am actually out of time today. Uh, despite the fact that it was my day off, I got called into work right at the beginning of stream. So I want to go get some food and then get ready for work. Oops, sploosh. But I will probably pick this up tomorrow night, I think. My next day off is not until Thursday. Work is treating me well. Yeah, it is busy and I, like... There's a lot of work involved, and I get tired, and I've been sick. Because going back there with other sick people, like, we're all sick. So, like, it's not healthy, but it is good. Once we're, once all of us are not sick anymore, everything will be good. But yeah, work is treating me well, it's just I get tired. Hence why, when I'm tired and sick... I don't stream. But hopefully I can get back to streaming more often, even if it has to be at night. And I'll still try to stream during the days on my days off. I didn't know what that was at first. 
You know what? I'm going to I'm going to end this over on the Colosseum cuz I love those pictures. Like look at them. Look at them. Oh, they're so amazing. Like yes, back in the day we wanted to have it so it looked like our Pokémon, but I just I just like these. They did a good job. See, this is what Bulbasaur looked like. This is what Charmander looked like. And this is what Squirtle looked like. And this is what Pikachu looked like. Until Yellow, when it got its own sprite. But, yeah, in red and blue, this is what Pikachu looked like. It's a Clefairy. This was the sprite for a small, chubby Pokemon, which was Pikachu at the time. And this was for long-bodied Pokemon, like Ekans and Dratini. Dratini also did this. And this was for, um, like, Rattatas and... And Dunsparce. And this was for Pidgeys and other other flying types. And this was for bug types, like Butterfree. And this was for like Amistar and all them. But yeah, I I gotta stop because I'm gonna be here all I'm gonna I'd be here all night looking at these. So hopefully, um. Later tonight, I obviously won't be streaming because I stream today, but it'll be tomorrow night, maybe after I'm finished work. Uh, I'll pick this back up and go for the final three because I will be able to stream for the full five hours. Hopefully. It depends on how I'm feeling. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I will be back tomorrow. I'm going to save. And then I'm going to go get something to eat and shower and then head to work. Ugh. Oh, boy. It is lovely to hang out again. Yes, hopefully we'll have more in the future. I will tr do my best to have a good day at work, and you, you have a good day as well. Bye!